Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to add iAd into your projects using Xcode 4.5. So in the simulator here, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. As soon as our app loads, whether we have internet connection or not, the iAd banner will appear in our app. And there you go, as you see, when the internet connection is detected, the iAd banner fades in. Now, if you suddenly lose internet connection, the iAd banner will fade out or will not load at all. So I'm going to show you how to create that today in Xcode. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple view-based application for the iPhone, and I've simply named the iAd tutorial project for the purpose of this tutorial. Now, the first thing we want to do is add the iAd framework. So to do that, we go into build phases. Just drop down the um, list here of um, link binary of libraries, and press the plus symbol, and then simply type in iAd. Just click on the iAd framework and press add. And then once that's added to your project, you'll notice up here it's added in. Then you need to go to your view controller.h, where we need to import the framework. So we do hash import. And then let's get rid of the two quotation marks. You want the less than and greater than symbol. And in the middle, we do I add forward slash I add dot H. So once that's imported, just in the UI view controller here, just press space. And we do again the greater and less than symbols. And then we do um, capitals I add banner view delegate. Once you've done that, just after the great end symbol, we'll do bracket and press enter. Now, once you've done that, we can just simply save it. And that's all the code we need to do in the dot .h. So we go into our dot .m. And just add the button here. I'll press enter a few times so you can clearly see what I'm doing. And I'm going to zoom in now. So we start by typing dash bracket void. And after the bracket there, we do banner view did load add. So for when the banner does load add, we do bracket and press enter. We want bracket UI view. Bracket UI view space begin animations as we want the I add banner to fade in. And it's a nice little transition, so it doesn't give you a white background like in the previous version of Xcode or anything like that. So begin animations, nil. And in the context here, we do null. And then have a bracket and a semicolon, and press enter. And again, bracket, UI, view, space, set animation duration. And now this says how long it's going to take for the banner to fade in. So once the transaction starts, we give it a time, so one second. So it will take one second for when it detects the internet connection to when the view, um, the banner view is fully loaded into our view. So we end that with a bracket and a semicolon. And now we do bracket banner space set alpha to zero, um, one sorry what we're going to do is in the interface builder we're going to already set our banner banners alpha to zero so whether or not you have connection or you don't it's going to be practically hidden already so we set it for one now like I said before as soon as it detects it will set the alpha to one which gives it the fade transition so again and that with a bracket and a semicolon and then press enter and do bracket UI view again, space, and then commit animations just to make the animations basically happen. So then again with a bracket and a semicolon. But now you want to we need to do the coding now for if it doesn't receive any connection from the internet or you lose internet connection within the app, you need to do bracket void bracket. Banner view, and then you need banner did load, did fail to load, um, well, 
did fail to receive add with error, sorry. New space, bracket, and enter. Now we need we can simply just copy what we've simply typed out in our first um, banner view did load statement. And the only thing we need to basically change is the set alpha to zero. So whether you lose internet connection or it does fail to receive the internet connection, the banner will simply set it alpha to zero so it will not be displayed and some of you experience you get a white a white kind of rectangle when there's no ad showing in like other previous tutorials or any other version of the Xcode this shall completely hide the banner altogether and make it transparent so once you've done that we can save that go into our viewcontroller.xib now we're just going to simply drag in I add banner so the first thing we need to do is um, control click or right click on the banner, drag it to our files owner and select delegate. Once we've done that we click on the banner and set the alpha to zero. So once we've done that the banner set to zero so it's initially transparent and you cannot see it and once it detects the internet connection it shall set the alpha to one which will be clearly able to see. So if we go to build and run, and as you can see straight away there, as soon as it detects the internet connection, it simply fades in. So if you build it once more, and you can see the transition again. So as soon as it loads, the white add banner fades in, give it a nice transition, and you can clearly see it. So if I build and run again, let's turn the internet off and build and run. You can see there with no internet connection it clearly does not load at all. So if you turn the internet connection back on and then go to build and run once it's connected and it should load up again and there we have it. So that's simply how you add iAd into your project using Xcode 4.5. It's a remake of a previous tutorial where it's been modified so there's pretty much less code and you get a better transition when the internet connection or the banner does load. So I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you go check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store simply by searching Geek Lemon or just check out the links below. But again, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.